Today we're going to take a look at the new Taurus 856. It's a plus P38 special revolver. You know, my compadre Nick did a kind of preliminary uh, review of the gun just a short time ago and he was a little bit ammunition challenged as it were because it was tough for him to find some 38 special. I fortunately am older and wiser. <laughs> So I dug into my stash. So today we're going to put this gun through the paces a little bit. Right off the bat, I'll be honest with you, I'm really impressed by it. This is not really like anything we've seen from Taurus before. Three inch fixed sight, snubbed hammer, 25 ounces, all stainless steel, beautifully finished, smooth action. This is really something from a custom shop and actually that's the case. They build these guns in a dedicated assembly area uh, by people who are specifically trained and talented to build what are essentially custom revolvers. I really like the, they call it a, you know, a hand finish. I think what it is, is a kind of a soft bead blast finish on the stainless steel. It's smooth, it feels really good, and uh, it should slip in and out of a holster really easily. It's got a nice smooth trigger face, uh, Altamont walnut grips, comes with a Pelican case, which is kind of unusual. I love the fact it's got a replaceable front sight, so you can zero it basically for the load that you have. Uh, they've lightly chamfered the chambers, which is really important on a defensive double action revolver. They've done what appears to be an action job because it's very smooth, it's not stagey. I'm, I was very impressed and surprised by it. It's got a bobbed hammer, so it's double action only. Uh, and MSRP is $689 for what is essentially a custom revolver. You know, Taurus revolvers, in my experience, have always been sort of workman revolvers, you know, good, solid, dedicated platforms, affordably priced. They functioned, they had a great guarantee. Uh, they were available in a lot of different configurations, a lot of different price points. And uh, so, you know, you basically were getting what you were paying for. And I think they always chased a certain other gun company that makes revolvers kind of that look like this one. And I'll tell you what, in this situation, they're kind of neck and neck. You know, four or five years ago, I was at the SHOT Show, the Shooting and Hunting Outdoor Trade Show, and I was meeting with Taurus representatives, and I, the then president of the company came in, and he showed me a gun, and it was, you know, I think it was a six-inch, um, you know, double-action revolver, but it had a really high-polished blue, had a smooth action. I mean, they had a lot going on that was sort of atypical from the average production Taurus revolver. And uh, he looked at me with a bit of a grin. He said, you know, what do you think if we offered something like this? And of course, being a revolver guy, I said, absolutely, you know, please do it. Uh, if you build it, they will come. And so it looks like, uh, not because I'm a particularly smart guy, but I'm sure they were, they were well entrenched in their marketing uh, surveys and they talked to other people who knew as much or more about this than me and they decided that it was indeed a good idea. And I am really happy they brought this out because it just it really raises the bar for Taurus aficionados and I think, you know, just for the, the kind of shooting industry. I'm always happy to see a company push the envelope on their products and the technology that they can do. I mean, you know, this is almost like the, the baseline, the, the revolver that most people who carry concealed look for. I mean, a three inch round butt kind of K-frame gun is what the FBI issued for quite a while. And so this gun, I think, sort of distills all of what people look for in a defensive revolver uh, down into one package that you can just simply buy over the counter. Okay, I've loaded up with six uh, Black Hills 148 grain uh, wad cutter uh, target loads, and which I always enjoy shooting. They're mild, they shoot really well, and you can usually shoot up to the ability of whatever gun you're putting them through. So uh, we're at about uh, 13 or 14 yards away, I think, and so I'll just put six on the center and see what happens. So. <laughs> this gun is a shooter. Well, 
we don't have much we need to say, I don't think, you know. Uh, I think had I been doing my job, it would have been an even tighter group. I haven't bench rested this gun yet, but I have a feeling we're looking at, you know, two inches of 25 yards really easily. So I just uh, love it when a plan works out. I've moved into about five yards. Um, I've got six uh, Black Hills Honey Badger, so it's a 100 grain 38 special with a special fluted bullet. Uh, it's my personal favorite. It's what I carry in my defensive gun. So let's see what happens. I'll just do a cylinder dump and, and see what happens here. So, all right, here we go. Does the job. You know, a lot of people want to know uh, what happens to velocity from a shorter barrel. So we've got a three inch barrel. So we'll be shooting that 148 grain hollow base wad cutter from Black Hill. So target wad cutter should be really mild, like in the 650 feet per second range, probably. There are 38 special honey badger, 100 grain uh, uh, plus B. That's that special, uh, you know, solid copper fluted round. That's probably going to be around 1000 feet per second, maybe a little bit more than that. So let's see what happens. First up, 148 grain wad cutters. Here we go. And looks like 696. That's a little better than I thought it was going to do. Uh, let's see what happens with the 100 grain honey badger. 1097. So that's really stepping out from a three inch gun. So that was a good example of kind of a, you know, target mild load and something that would be more uh, defensive ammunition. Okay, only because it's becoming kind of a tradition here. I've got a honey badger load in here. Let's shoot this water jug and see what happens. Remember, we're not proving anything. All right, here we go. Well, that was pretty effective. I wouldn't have wanted to been standing there. All right, let's wrap this up. Taurus executive grade model uh, 856, three inch fixed sight, all stainless, smooth trigger, snubbed hammer, 38 special plus P. It, I mean, it's basically the ultimate fighting revolver in my opinion, and you can buy one over the counter from what is essentially Taurus's new custom shop. Uh, I really recommend you take a peek at it if you're interested in this kind of stuff, because here's one. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, remember the four firearm safety rules and please take a new shooter shooting. Uh, teach them things, make them become an ambassador for what we like to do. Take care. Thank you.